welcome back to episode well not back to episode welcome to episode four and welcome back to the series uh here in the green gold farms or farm in my let's play map test series yes so yes uh, and here we are potatoes are ready to go and um we're ready to go with this this is uh part of the colossus pack and let's get our help window on there at least this uh so we have uh the potato header unrealistic and a unreal uh this thing is gorgeous oh, by the way i yeah, I, I picked that color. Oh, and see, I got the Unreal. Uh, look out there. Yes, get the lights on. Let's get all. Let's get the lights on. Underglow, and turn that on. And yes, uh, we have. I picked the maximum because uh, I'm really not a big potato fan, but um, I don't mind doing potatoes when uh, when I can call, when I can harvest potatoes like this. Um. Yeah, why am I only doing 17? I'm going uphill. Maybe that's why, yeah. <clears throat> so I didn't get the super fast 150 mile per hour one. Because it's not that big of... I'm missing stuff. How can I miss stuff with such such a wide pickup? <clears throat> right, so... I am missing stuff. That's terrible. Um... <laughs> But we're going to clear off this potato field, and then um, we're going to... What are we going to plant? We're going to plant something because um, I do want to... Um, we, we got a new planter slash cedar today uh, in the mod releases, so uh, nice that we got new mods today. It's not always a given anymore that we get new mods every day, so when we do, it's nice. Uh, and so we're gonna, oh, yeah, well, I'm pretty sure we're gonna, we're going to um, try that out in this field. I don't know what we're gonna plant yet. Um, we'll see. Well, we'll see what we plant. Um, what well, we have other things to do today for sure. And I missed it again. I picked the, uh, not the largest, but a large capacity on this one. And, uh, well, one, I mean, uh, you can hire a worker too. That's, that's really nice. At least it goes much straighter than I do. And, uh, we're going to have a whole bunch of potatoes. And, uh, and the workers know how to, I mean, these guys, I don't know how long, I don't know, I can't, I can't say enough good things about Chris S. and Riley S. and their mods. They just seem to nail it every time, and if there is ever really an issue, uh, they're on top of it right away, fixing it. Not that anyone, any of the other modders don't do that, it's just they're particularly um, attentive to that but anyways <clears throat> um, so we're almost done here which is nice and quick much better than doing it for four rows at a time yeah uh, it's this is really the only way I will do to potatoes and we're just going to uh, wrap things up here and um, We'll carry on to our cornfield because we're going to take a look at our crops because we have went ahead one day, which is a month, a one day per month. Okay, let's, uh, folding not, okay, well, I want to fold the head. There we go. And pipe out. Let's just, um, make our way. Oh, maybe I'll have to do the pipe in because that's going to hit there. Right, there we go. Um, will be will we be able to I don't think we're going to be able to uh, 500,000 liters yes uh, that's actually uh, a lot of potatoes and uh, it won't all fit in there because I but we'll unload the potatoes anyways 
Yep. Um, who buys potatoes on this map? That's a great question. Uh, the cooperative, uh, the agribusiness, the supermarket, all pretty good prices. What's our price fluctuation? $600 in July. That's peak. Um, so, I mean, that gives you an idea there. But um, we're going to hang on to these because, well, we really don't need the money. And uh, we're just going to go ahead and dump this. I do believe it should take potatoes because it is a multi-fruit. There we go. Unloading our potatoes. And then we're going to go look at our uh, crops. We have a couple of crops uh, that have uh, their first stage. And let's go up here. There we go. So growth. There we go. So um, this crop's first stage. We got a first stage here and here. We also, uh, the potatoes we just finished harvesting. 27 is um, first, yeah, very close to, yeah. So we are, um, let's, let's just go here. Soybeans are going to be ready soon. That was a crop that was um, already in ground when we got the farm, so that's good. Uh, our next, uh, uh, let's see here, we're going up to our our left map, bottom right. And um, going to take a look at our crop up here. I do believe, I, if I recall, it's the beans. And uh, we have some weedage. Yep, black beans. That's what it looks like in the first stage of growth. And we have spattered uh, spattering of weeds here. So we're going to take care of that and we're going to go back down to to our um might as well go on the road it's kind of although i know, you know i want it i'm just going to go across the field shouldn't kind of will right fairly close together the fields here so no no big um, no big problems and this is uh, what about barley yes very nice we have weeds as well not surprising small weeds first stage of growth we could use a mechanical weeder but nah um, and off to our cornfield which I do believe uh, is not this one but the one after up there I remember oh no actually it isn't we planted corn in our um, the un the unnumbered field where our um, sugarcane was, and uh, this is what is this? I, I'm such, oh sorghum, yes, <clears throat> uh, right sorghum, and it also has weeds, medium weeds. Right, so that's um, that's where that. Where that? That's that's that. I do believe. Yes, those are all our fields. Yeah, those are those are the fields that we own, or at least that we have planted. We, this is a pasture. I did say we're going to go mow that, so I think we might. St I, yeah, we're going to st we're going to still do that, even though, um, <laughs> even though um, <clears throat> I was going to just feed the cows. Um, grass, but since they looks like they take literally every kind of crop as um, as food, I'm gonna be stuck here. Oh dear, fences. I, you know, I really don't like fences. Come on, get away, get out, get out of here, fences. Get, get out, get out. Oh. One thing I one thing I see I uh, I do believe is it Cavalier Roy. Uh, I think it's um, that he has posts or lights or something. If you cut it down, all all the hedges or the fences or yeah or something. I 
I wish there was easy way to get rid of fences or just like, hey, if you cut this sign down, uh, all the fences go away or something like that. I don't know. Anyways, it's just me and fences don't get along. Right, so uh, what do we got here? Now, this is... This is the... I forget. Uh, apologies. I forget who the modder is of this. I, I do believe it's should be listed but anyway self-propelled sprayer it also comes with um well i have this uh oh not that one there we go uh that attachment sprayer mod but it also comes with fertilizer back on it there if you want lime or fertilizer awesome awesome i love it awesome mod um excuse me uh, with precision farming, it's also precision farming ready in in the fact that it does spot spraying. So if you notice here, uh, it only sprays where the weeds are because with precision farming, uh, weeds do not blanket the field um, like they do in base game play. It uh, the the weeds are sprout sporadically like they would they would naturally do or as close to realistic as um as you can get in this game so far so you can of course uh use a regular sprayer and just just full-on spray the whole field and um it will cost you more because um you're using more product more herbicide this uh this method here as you can as you can see down there oh as you can may see the, uh, the usage is uh very minimal compared to full-on spraying an entire field end to end with herbicide now this just works with herbicide and not um, fertilizer liquid fertilizer would um would of course be sprayed on how should I say? Well, with precision farming, it would be sprayed according to the needs of the field and the plant. Now, I did note <laughs> I have an odd spot here where um, I have corn that has actually matured faster than... And, um, yeah. Um, something to do with the... So, if you recall, I used the uh, Kinsey planter modded planter by chris s and riley s has a mulch and roller function and um i'm not exactly sure what i did here to create this situation where obviously we have area that's not planted and we have corn here corn here that's more mature in these spots than it is around about it so there's um yeah i did something there and I don't, uh, I don't exactly recall what it was that I did. So it it is a. Uh, oh wait a minute! What what's what's not being? What is this that is not being killed? I'm spraying herbicide. Why are these weeds not dying? Now that is not something that should be happening. Those weeds should be, I, the sprayer should spray those. It's not spraying those. That is interesting. Hmm. I wonder if that's, huh, okay. Uh, is that because it's a bare field? And oh, now it's spraying them, but it's, they're not going away. They're not dying. Hmm. Right. Don't know. Don't know what's going on there. Um, gremlins. I blame uh, Farming Simulator 22 Gremlins. <laughs> so. Um, yeah. 
Uh, expected yield. Okay, now we're. Why are we down? Everything's perfect. Oh, it needs plowing. I didn't plow the field. I have needs. That's so. That's what's again. Okay. Uh, we sprayed the weeds. It's it's bumped our expected yield from eleven. 11 12 to 13 ish um however because we did not plow that's costing us um 12 percent yield on this field because we didn't plow so yeah uh if you have that option turned on the plowing you can turn it off and then uh, you don't have to worry about it. Just like weeds, you can turn off weeds, you can turn them off, turn them on. Um, so it's however you want to play. It's what uh, one of the reasons that make this game so fantastic and so replayable. But um, I mean, the main reason really is all the mods we get. Um, this game would have died long ago if it weren't for all the uh, the modders that have been continuously bringing uh, bringing us uh, these fantastic uh, mods to this game. And if you're not if you're watching this and you don't know what mods are, um, go to your um, I have I have videos how to download mods. It's 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 quite a popular vi video. Um, it should be easy. Just go into my I'm missing stuff here um, I, I'm sure most most if not all of you that are watching this already follow and play farming simulators so it's not something new to you of course and I'm just gonna finish uh, spraying this it's still missing I guess I'll just have to manually do this um, right I'm gonna polish this off and then I'm gonna go find the other fields that um, where weeds uh yeah weeds in field 27 and 23 so i'm gonna do that and um we'll go grab a mower and oh yes do i have a mower i have a mower set up that um not your not your standard grandma's mower right so we'll see you um yeah i'm gonna finish i'm gonna finish weeding spraying herbicide get killing off these nasty weeds and then uh we'll meet you over uh yes over yonder at my uh pasture right so as promised something probably pretty goofy well I, yeah uh pretty unreal um <laughs> is also with the colossus pack a uh, colossus harvesters pack um right and uh, kind of a feature that maybe you may may or may not know about is this lizard titan forager unrealistic under forage harvester heads it's one of the heads that come with the uh with the pack and we have two of them one is um basically you could say a standard um uh, just slightly faster mod 10 miles per hour and then we have this one and not only is it faster, but also uh, will cut grass, basically, at uh, 45 miles per hour. And uh, so I have a forest harvester here, and we'll turn on the uh, unfold pipe. Yes, there we go. Uh, lights see the, uh, and also has a added of an unrealistic width, which, uh, will come in super handy and uh, will clear out uh, lots of wonderful places where it would be hard to get at with um, with a norm normal mower now this is a meadow so a worker is not going to work a meadow no matter what uh, let's see if we try it says work is, worker has stopped, field, field not found. So that's what's gonna happen. That's not a problem with the mod at all. That is just uh, basically, that's how um, how things work with, uh, what field is this? 
This is uh, sorghum. Oh, ready to harvest sorghum? Really? Where are we? Over here. Field 20, huh? Um, right. Okay, well, let's buy that. I know we've planted sorghum already, but that's... That looks, uh, that looks different than, um, the base game sorghum, how the base game sorghum looks. Uh, but anyways, we are, uh, we're making good work of this field here for grass. And, uh, what actually is nice is it will actually clear out all the grass between all these trees these awful trees over here that i would love to cut down but really don't have any reason to cut them down now since um since i have a mower that like just perfectly goes right around them say this tree over here that would have been a real um struggle to like perfectly mow around that and now of course absolutely no problem uh, also, uh, it will mow, like, everything, right? Yeah. Um, really cool. Now, of course, it's not for everybody. Not everybody's going to like this kind of farming. I know my friend John there, he is a much more of a, um, the slower the better, or the more, I mean, more realistic. He's, he's... He grew up on a farm, dairy farm, and uh, he enjoys the um, he enjoys the um, the process, shall we say? Yes, he enjoys the process. So um, players like that may not be so much um, enjoying this type of machinery. But uh, let's see, 334,000 liters off of that field of, uh, oh, and around the yard, uh, unfold, like you got grass around the yard and stuff like that, no problem. Takes a minute to, uh, but uh, does, will, will it? Yes, so. You got some grass around your fields, around the uh, around the edges, uh, around little bits and bits and bites everywhere. You want to clean all that up? Oop. Yeah, you can. No problem. Oh, I'm gonna I'm bumping this. Get 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 over there. <laughs> um, oh, wow. we were gonna find out if. Uh, oh, am I gonna be able to? Is that grass inside the um, pasture? Can we cut it? I don't think so. It was not showing me. No, it's not. Uh, it's not mowable grass in there. So that's kind of a downer. Uh, we're going to have to fold up. Will I get through? Yes, I can get through here, but I don't think this grass is mowable. And how do I know that? Well, let's go over here and let's turn on our grass. Yeah, that is not... That is not lighting up. And if we go over here... Ready to harvest? Yeah, see, we got... That's all the grass. It's showing ready to harvest. We've already cleaned that up real nice. Um, but nothing in here. That's where the cow... Now, if we sold the cows... Um, we could probably plow it up and plant. Um, excuse me, grass. Uh, can we put grass as... Uh, we should be able to put... Here we go. Yeah. But we're not going to do grass as feed right now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're going to dump. There we go. Come on. So that was neat. 
Let's dump our grass in here. There we go. And then um, we have a sorghum field to harvest right off the bat since we found one close by. Very nice. There we go. Come on, come on. There we go. So let's um, let's take care of that, shall we? All in a day's work. I suspect um, I I did. You know, I was going to go look and see if I could grab a um, a bit bigger of a. Uh, harvester because uh, 14,000 liters is not all that much actually when uh, when harvesting a, a wide swath like we do but I don't think it's not a very big field and um, I might I might go and find I, I do want to try a different harvester other than the Colossus. I'm not not that I don't love the Colossus harvester pack, but I do want to try some something else. And uh, yes, the uh, the headers will work on other machines, so you don't have to that that mower head will work on other other harvesters. You, you don't have to use the Colossus Harvester now uh, if I remember the update it says the now does that look any different the ground color is um, it does it did say um, in the update let's find it um, green gold farm uh, texture of the soil and grass has been changed giving the map okay uh, added new texture the stems are crushed. Well, I don't see any crushed stems with um, the sorghum. Hmm. All right. Um, but we do have uh, soy and corn. So soy, corn, and sorghum, it says the textures. Now, I do like the textures. And, oh, it looks like when I turned around with the mower, it mowed. It took out some of the uh, sorghum. So uh, beware of that. It will um, it will delete some of your crop. Um, right. Okay. So n not uh, not unexpectedly, our yields not not great because this is just a field we bought. And we are already maxed out. Oh, 10,000 liters, not even the 14 I thought it was. Yeah, we are maxed out here. So, um, right. Um, yeah. I really want, I just wanted to see what the texture looked like after uh, harvesting. It doesn't look like it's getting, um, like the stocks are getting crushed so that's fine uh, I'm gonna go back to the farm uh, let's unfold that and drop that I'm gonna go back to the farm and I'm gonna go grab one of those new cedar planters that just dropped today and uh, oh I think we're probably come on where it is there it is um, so 26 was our potatoes. That's actually, I'm pretty sure we're going to need to plow that. Yeah. We're going to have to plow that out first. So I'm going to go grab a plow. I'm going to take this back to the... Okay. 
take this back to the farm we're gonna go back I'm gonna grab a plow and that cedar that's what I'm gonna do and we'll meet you back at that field so uh, as I said we're gonna have a little play around in this potato field and I had an idea since uh, it does need plowing however I do want to mulch it first <sighs> oh man excuse me so as we know this mulches and rolls but I don't want to plant anything yet um, not yet until it's plowed so I have emptied out the seed and fertilizer and can we mulch and we can I believe so anyways are we mulching it's turned on I'm not planting or 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 seeding or fertilizing anything because well there's nothing in there uh, so what does this say uh, did we mulch it let's go and turn off that and go for mul oh yes look at that uh, so we're, we're just using it empty to mulch it uh, if it's not rolling though because well um, a roller won't roll uh, unless it's cultivated or seeded uh, some of some kind so that's fine but um, I wonder will the will the worker oh Oh, I also got the draw bar in here, so we're going to see how... F I mean, it's it's rated at... I don't think we can go much... I mean, our tractor goes 42. The... The... The, um, the cedar's planter is rated at 30. Can we go faster than 30? Mm, no. Okay. That's interesting. Because a mulch... Oh, because we have... Uh, we have the roller function actually on but it's not actually rolling because well a roller won't roll a mulched field really that's that's the the skinny of it but um but we are going to try something uh, we are going to try something similar to that because we are going to use it as a roller but you got to make sure that you turn off the mulcher because we're going to use a different uh, will a worker no no definitely not work with a worker and that's because we have the ro okay let's let's um let's buy another toolbox over here let's just put it over there all right i love this toolbox but where did we put it where did we put there it is all right let's turn off the roller then no not that there we go so standard planter no uh mulcher there we go Attach, turn it on, lower it. Oh, um, no, it won't, the uh, worker won't. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's why. It's not because of the roller, it's because it's empty. Duh. Uh, it's a planter and the tank's empty, so. But you can still manually use it as a mulcher, as we are. And because I took the roller off notice our speed hold on we're going uphill it's a trudge what? 32 see there we go 33 35 so there it is it's the roller that limits our speed to the 30 miles per hour which is the fastest roller by the way if you're rolling uh, you cannot roll 30 miles per hour you can't fast you can't oh it's starting to skip oh, it's starting to, to skip a little bit over there that's odd right okay so um 
let's maybe because I need to lower that hitch down a little bit riding a bit high all right so um, interesting I'm gonna finish mulching this field and then we're going to plant using the new planter what am I gonna plant uh, that's a great question what did we ha what have we not planted yet is the question and the other question is will that new planter um, plant um, the black beans since uh, not all planters do all planters in now plant um, no, not all. The Cavernlin planter does not plant black beans, but but the blue, the base game blue drive does. And so does Tempo, and the John Deere, and and the Kinsey blue drive, which is odd because the. Um, Neither of the modded, like the extra Kinsey ones, don't seem to plant. Turn that off. Let's see here. Yeah, I don't think black beans are in this. No. Hmm. That's interesting. I find that interesting. I wonder if it's because these, uh, this planter by, um, Chris and Riley S. have been um, also do the premium expansion crops. Maybe there's not enough room for more crops. I don't know. Mm. Interesting. Anyways, I'm going to finish doing this and then we'll come back in here with um, the new planter and uh, by then maybe I'll figure out what what it is that I want to plant. So, I uh, forgot to mention the, the whole reason we were going through all that rigmarole was because I needed to plow the field. Now, um, this is true for every map. Um, if you plant potatoes or beets, and I do believe sugarcane actually, um, it's going to tell you that you if you have plowing turned on, after every crop you will have to plow your field otherwise you're gonna it's gonna hurt your yield so that is what I did now interesting enough uh, this is the new planter that got released today and we're gonna take a look at them uh, the new planter is by the modder let me let me cue it up here Uh, Orton Modding, his first mod on Farming Simulator 22 on the Mod Hub. Excuse me. Oh my god. That 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 came. That surprised me. Pardon me. My apologies. Sincere apologies. And um, yeah, so they're uh, quite interesting. Uh, nice. Eggco branded um, planter, but also will plant, uh, well, seed everything, including on this map, black beans. Uh, which um, most of its, but not all, apparently not all of them will. Uh, interestingly enough, the Cavernland does not. Um, but the Limpkin and these, um, interestingly, let to see the cedars. Yes, the cedars, uh, all the cedars that I have here will. So interesting. But anyways, uh, point is... Um, with Precision Farm, I, we have planted back black beans. I think that was like the first thing we planted. Um, because being a new crop, I did see that. It's like, okay, I want to uh, I want to try that out. So, uh, here we go. And um, it is pretty nice. It is, though, mind you... Uh, so, standard comes with seed. If you add fertilizer, you can add liquid or dry fertilizer. And it, everything's fine until you add the additional. It gets really heavy, and you can notice the fertilizer right here 
puts a lot of weight on that back hitch and thus I had to get this uh, uh, 3300 kilogram weight on the front just to uh, otherwise the front end literally came off the ground so um, we're gonna plant black beans again and we're gonna see so right now let's see here we have um, uh, we're at we're, we're at 89 out of 89 so I there's you cannot improve on that we are our max potential so I was going to well we can still try rolling but it's not going to give us any extra percentage yield which is interesting you don't see that too often actually um, and because we plowed um, because we plowed we're not going to get any weeds um, and that's kind of how it goes uh, if you plow you will not get weeds so there is a benefit to plowing now if you cultivate deep cultivation will give you some weeds uh, the least amount of weeds after plowing which which will give you no weeds then if you do a shallow cultivation or stubble cultivation that will give you more weeds than if you do a deep cultivation and then if you do a direct drill seeding or planting which means uh, zero cultivation that will give you the most amount of weeds in your crop now i have uh fiddled with um some players um say if you plant your crop say direct drill and then you immediately spray herbicide on it like like literally immediately after planting you spray it with herbicide now a worker is not going to it, it will have to if you do that it, you will have to do it manually now it's not going to do anything on this field because we've plowed it so plowing is not we're not going to um get any get any weights now uh this planter is um limited to nine miles per hour but i have the drawbar on there <coughs> excuse me which lets me go as fast as my little tractor will pull it um, and I do like going faster than what it says I can go um, so well I'm gonna be doing this I am gonna try one more thing so this is pretty much gonna wrap up this episode however I do want to try one last thing not that it's gonna make any difference with my yield but I do want to try one last thing before we end the episode. So I'm going to actually, what I'm going to do is we're going to, uh, we, me, I, we are going to um, do more planting here. Plant off, uh, plant a section here at least. Let's just go this way. This seems to be straight and I like straight um, when it comes to farming planting uh, back and forth it's nice and um, I'm gonna go grab um, that Kinsey modded cedar let's see is he gonna turn around nicely here might not turn around so nice with those trees over there but it looks like he's doing a fine job there so let's um uh yeah okay so uh where did i put it where did i put it over there so we're gonna leave it uh of course empty again and what i'm going to do we're gonna go switch it from mulcher to roller and still leave it empty like we did with the mulching and we're gonna see I, I I'm pretty sure it will but pretty sure and a uh, hundred percent sure are um, absolutely two different things 
And so, uh, yes, I did sell the house because it was getting in the way of accessing this field and it was becoming extremely annoying. And I'm going to have to put down, I, I keep losing all these toolboxes. So I'm going to put down a toolbox there. And actually what, I else, what else I've done here is I put down the... Um, one of this it doesn't it's not showing it's a portable sleep sl portable sleep trigger also by schultz modding which this is also by schultz modding he does some fantastic stuff it really is amazing um so here we go uh, standard no roller that's what we want and uh, there we go we have configured it to a roller owner only and it is empty and so now we're gonna see. Um, first, we should we should probably hook it up, and um, we have a nice, um, freshly planted spot here now. <coughs> Excuse me. And we're gonna open this up and uh, turn it on and just um, see what kind of damage we can do. Is it gonna? Yes. Look at that. And. Uh, from, uh, I mean, if you got a, p a powerful enough tractor, which this is not, apparently. But, um, there we go. We have rolled it. And, uh, oh. Well, why is it now... Oh. Um, mulched? Yes, I know we've mulched it all. Uh, we've plowed it all. Stones, yes, there are stones. Um, cultivated, growing, yes, harvested, withered, plowed. Uh, uh, what is that? That's odd. Um, where is it? Where does the need roll? Oh, there we go. Needs rolling. Um, so as you can see, um, yes, we have rolled. Um, do we have yield potential here? No, yield, but not yield potential. Um, wait a minute. Did we just, no, okay, here's 89. The soil, the different soil, yes. I was wondering, it's like, what? But, oh yeah. Uh, oh, interestingly enough, uh, 20, 123 out of 125. So... I guess it's, um, depending on the... Yeah, wow, okay. We can improve it by just a little bit. Um, so, yeah, I mean... I've got the time. If you've got the dime, is that how it goes? Or maybe I just made that up. It's quite possible I did just make that up. But, um... So, uh, yeah, I'm going to uh, roll it with this cedar. <laughs> and if, uh, if you have a tractor that's um, powerful enough and goes fast enough, you could do it at 30 miles per hour, which this one is fast enough, but it is not powerful enough to do that. And uh, he missed a spot. Okay, well, that's fine. He missed a spot, he missed a spot. Um, yeah, no worker because there's no C. It's a planter um, first and foremost and a roller and or mulcher and or, yeah, mulcher roller second. But, um, right, um, and there you go. Um, that's it. I think that's enough talking for one, uh, one episode. And, um, yeah, I was thinking of doing sunflowers, but it's like, ah, uh, well, black beans. We'll, we'll, we'll have another kick at it because we really, well, we haven't even harvested black beans yet because, um, we've been fooling around with other stuff, but, um, right. So we'll carry on, and uh, we'll get more done next episode, um, because 
we'll finish planting this and I'll finish rolling it yeah and yeah and it will just we'll just carry on uh, if new stuff pops up I maybe I'll use it like this uh, not that planter the other planter uh, let's turn that off that's really noisy um, right and there you go that's episode four um, look forward to uh, episode it looks like rain in the forecast on my calendar so we'll see how that goes but um, right so uh, thank you all for watching uh, thanks for all the comments and the, um, uh, the, the the kind comments I do hope this um, is enjoyable and uh, I am actually enjoying doing a little kind of a series again so um, we will see you all in the next episode thank you again for watching and oh yes uh, remember it's uh, only a game so till the next one Bye for now.